Have you ever found yourself in a situation where the spark in your relationship has faded and you're left wondering what went wrong? Maybe you've tried gifts, texts, or even heartfelt apologies, but nothing seems to bring back the respect or desire you once had. If you're stuck in that cycle, feeling like nothing you do is making a difference, you're not alone. This video is for you. On Win Stoic, we're going to take a deep dive into the exact strategies high-value men use to regain a woman's respect and reignite desire. The truth is, it's not about flashy gestures or trying to win her over with material things. The key lies in how you show up, how you embody confidence, set strong boundaries, and stay grounded in your principles. We'll explore how these elements, deeply rooted in Stoic philosophy, create an unshakable foundation that naturally commands respect and draws attraction. This isn't just about fixing a single relationship. It's about transforming how you approach all relationships. By mastering self-control, focusing on your personal growth, and embracing the power of Stoicism, you'll not only restore the connection you've lost, but also elevate your own value in every area of life. Whether you're dealing with a disconnect in your relationship or simply want to become a man who commands respect and inspires desire, this video will provide the insights you need to take control of the situation and reignite that spark. Let's dive in. Number one. Show your sword without using it. To regain respect and rekindle desire, the first step is to show strength without actually using it. High-value men embody assertiveness, not aggression. If you've lost respect, it's possible you either allowed her to walk over you or became overly reactive. The key here is balance, a firm but calm demeanor that signals control not just over the situation, but over yourself. Real power is quiet and understated. It doesn't need to roar or rage. It merely needs to be felt. When a man knows his worth, he doesn't allow others to challenge or unsettle him. It's about embodying a composed strength that speaks for itself. Think about it. When she nitpicks, tests, or pushes your buttons, she's observing your response to see if you can hold your ground. Reacting with anger or frustration only proves she can shake you. But when you respond calmly, you show her you are above the petty. You're saying, without words, that you won't be swayed or drawn into emotional drama. Setting boundaries here is crucial, and doing so respectfully yet firmly conveys that you're in control. You're showing her that you won't be disrespected, but you also won't stoop to defensive or reactive behavior. This controlled response signals self-mastery, a quality that can rekindle admiration and desire. At its core, this is about respect, both for yourself and for her. By demonstrating that you can handle challenges with grace, you reflect confidence, autonomy and self-respect the very qualities she was likely drawn to in the first place. Stoicism reminds us that it's not the events around us that define us, but our reaction to them. By internalizing this principle, you create a space where respect can grow again and where desire can naturally reignite. The essence of this approach lies in restraint, an often underrated form of power. By showing poise, you're sending a clear message. You're not easily swayed. You're steady and unyielding in your self-respect. You're the type of man who chooses his battles, who lets his presence speak louder than his words, and who understands that true strength doesn't need to be proven. It simply is. Number two, say no without explanation. High-value men understand the power of saying no without needing to explain themselves. This simple, direct response is more than just a refusal. It's a declaration of self-respect and confidence. 
By saying no, without adding justifications or excuses, you communicate that your values and boundaries are non-negotiable. This is a mark of true self-assurance, one that signals to others, especially women, that you respect your own time, energy and principles. Why does this matter? When a woman makes a request that doesn't align with your goals or values, confidently saying no without elaboration demonstrates that you aren't swayed by external pressures. You're setting a clear standard, one that says you won't compromise on what you deserve. This act of self-assertion subtly shifts the dynamics and establishes a foundation of respect. Rather than appearing evasive or weak, your refusal is a quiet proclamation of your own worth and standards. Take, for instance, a casual suggestion she makes like meeting up for a quick, unfocused lunch when you're seeking something more meaningful. Instead of agreeing out of convenience or politeness, simply say, no. Don't offer an excuse. Don't justify it. This simple act sends a message. You're not going to settle for anything that doesn't align with your values or time. She'll understand that you're not here to accept whatever is offered. You have standards, and those standards command respect. This approach requires inner strength and a deep commitment to your own values. It isn't about denying her for the sake of control or withholding affection. It's about living in alignment with who you are and what you value. Stoic philosophy reminds us of this with its focus on self-mastery and integrity. Epictetus famously said, No man is free who is not master of himself. By mastering your impulses to people-please or over-explain, you signal that your sense of self-worth isn't dependent on others' approval. The ability to say no without explanation is a test of your self-mastery. It's a subtle yet powerful way to reclaim respect and control in your relationships, creating an aura of mystery and independence. It shows you're not seeking validation or afraid of disapproval. Paradoxically, this independence and authenticity make you more attractive. By prioritizing your values, you naturally command a higher level of respect. And as respect grows, so does admiration. In this way, saying no without explanation is more than an act of refusal. It's a declaration of freedom. You're free to choose what aligns with you and free to decline what doesn't. By embodying this principle, you build respect, boost your attractiveness and reinforce your inner strength. Number three, rebuild by acting, not apologizing. Apologies can only go so far in regaining respect. While admitting mistakes is necessary, high-value men understand that it's not endless words or repeated apologies that restore respect, but actions. Excessive apologies can even backfire, weakening your position and eroding the respect you're trying to rebuild. Instead, focus on taking consistent, purposeful actions that communicate a true commitment to growth and change. Actions have a language of their own, one that speaks louder than any words could. When trust has been broken, verbal promises often feel empty. A partner wants to see genuine accountability and a proactive commitment to improvement. Words may pacify for a moment, but actions solidify a lasting change. This shift from apology to action communicates that you're serious about mending the situation. Every act of integrity, every choice made with intention and reliability, signals that you are committed to becoming better, not just apologizing for your faults. Consider this. If you've damaged trust by not following through on commitments, rebuild it by showing up consistently. Say you're going to do something and then do it, reliably, without fail. This consistency is where respect begins to be renewed. You're not just saying you're sorry, 
you're actively demonstrating that you're dependable and that your word has weight. Over time, this steady pattern of integrity and consistency will gradually restore what was lost. Stoic philosophy teaches us not to dwell on past mistakes, but to focus on what we can control here and now. By centering your energy on self-improvement, you show that you're committed to growth rather than shame or regret. Marcus Aurelius wrote, Waste no more time arguing what a good man should be. Be one. This principle is central here. Rather than apologizing repeatedly, show that you're genuinely striving to embody the qualities of a man of integrity. This approach requires humility, discipline, and patience. At times, you may feel the urge to seek reassurance, to apologize again in hopes of making her feel better. But understand that real change isn't about soothing immediate discomfort. It's about proving, through actions, that you are reliable, respectful, and worthy of renewed trust. In doing so, you shift the focus from making up for past mistakes to building a new foundation of respect and admiration. Rebuilding through action rather than apology aligns with the stoic mindset. It's not about glossing over mistakes or pretending they never happened. It's about channeling your energy into something productive and future-oriented. By consistently acting with integrity, you show that you're not defined by past missteps, but by your ongoing commitment to growth and excellence. In this way, the process of rebuilding becomes an opportunity to strengthen your character. Every decision you make, every commitment you honor, every act of honesty reinforces a high-value mindset. And as these actions accumulate, respect is not just regained, it's deepened, creating a foundation for a stronger, more resilient connection. Number four, embrace the gray area. Many people feel uneasy in the face of ambiguity, especially in relationships where certainty can seem like a comfort. Yet high-value men understand the importance of embracing the gray area. They recognize that seeking clarity in every moment, pushing for answers, or needing constant validation only weakens their position. Stoicism teaches us to accept uncertainty by focusing on what we can control and releasing what we cannot. In the realm of relationships, this mindset becomes a powerful asset, allowing you to navigate the unknown with grace and self-assurance. Ambiguity, particularly in relationships, can trigger insecurity and doubt. When the status of a relationship is unclear, the impulse might be to seek answers, to ask for definitions, to press for reassurance. But a high-value man doesn't succumb to this need for immediate clarity. Instead, he respects the natural unfolding of the relationship. By being comfortable in the grey area, he displays a kind of strength that is rare, a strength rooted in patience and self-trust. Imagine this scenario. The relationship is undefined, perhaps in an early or transitional phase, and you're unsure where it's headed. Instead of pressing her with questions or seeking confirmation, focus on self-improvement. Redirect your energy to becoming the best version of yourself. Develop your skills, invest in your physical and mental well-being, and pursue your goals with determination. This not only makes you more attractive, but also shifts the dynamic. She'll see a man who is complete and centered in himself, not dependent on the relationship for his sense of worth. By accepting the unknown and not allowing it to disrupt your sense of stability, you signal maturity and confidence. Women are naturally drawn to a man who is secure, who doesn't need constant validation or immediate answers. Your groundedness, your ability to be at ease with ambiguity, creates an air of mystery and independence that is attractive and magnetic. It tells her that you're comfortable with who you are and that your self-worth isn't contingent on anyone's approval or commitment. 
This approach aligns with Stoic principles. As Marcus Aurelius advised, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. Rather than viewing ambiguity as an obstacle, see it as an opportunity to deepen your character, to practice patience and to embody resilience. By shifting focus to your own growth, you channel your energy productively, making the ambiguity work for you, not against you. When you learn to embrace the grey area, you unlock a new level of attractiveness and respect. You're no longer the man who chases clarity out of insecurity, but the one who moves forward regardless, confident in his own value. In time, this confidence will rekindle her interest as she sees a man who is steady, resilient and secure. Ultimately, this process is about cultivating inner stability and poise. By standing firmly in the face of uncertainty, you're showing her that you're comfortable navigating life's complexities. You're demonstrating that you don't require everything to be neatly defined, to be at peace. This calmness in the face of ambiguity is one of the most compelling traits a man can possess, marking him as someone who is truly confident and in control. So embrace the grey area, not as a temporary discomfort, but as a space for growth and self-discovery. By doing so, you free yourself from dependence on external outcomes and instead anchor your strength within. This balance of self-assurance and patience enhances your character and deepens the foundation of respect in the relationship. Number 5. Maintain calm and control. In challenging situations, staying calm is a mark of true strength. High-value men understand that composure in the face of conflict or provocation not only preserves their dignity, but also commands respect. When you maintain control over your emotions, you show that you're not at the mercy of external events. This calmness is powerful, an embodiment of stoic principles that teaches us to remain unaffected by life's storms. Rather than reacting impulsively or letting emotions control you, you respond with intention and restraint. Keeping composure in difficult situations isn't easy. Many people are quick to anger, defensive or reactive when they feel challenged or threatened. But a man who remains calm when others expect frustration or aggression demonstrates a rare and compelling strength. This isn't about suppressing emotions, it's about mastering them. By managing your responses, you show that you are guided by reason, not by fleeting feelings. This strength of mind is what truly defines a high-value man. Imagine this scenario. She tries to provoke or frustrate you, perhaps through criticism or by testing your boundaries. Instead of reacting in anger or frustration, you remain grounded. You listen, you consider, and you respond with grace. You don't allow her actions to dictate your reaction. This calm, controlled response communicates that you're confident in who you are and don't need to defend yourself to maintain your self-respect. She'll sense your self-assurance and will feel a deeper respect for you, realizing she cannot easily destabilize you. This ability to stay calm under pressure is one of the cornerstones of Stoicism. The Stoics believed that true strength comes from within, from our ability to master ourselves. As the philosopher Epictetus advised, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. By practicing this mindset, you show that you're not easily disturbed by others' words or actions. You're in command of your own experience, unaffected by the emotional turbulence around you. Calmness in challenging moments is magnetic because it reflects a deep-seated confidence. Women are drawn to men who are not swayed by every passing emotion or provocation. When you hold your ground, you show that you're dependable, a pillar of stability, 
rather than someone who is reactive or easily provoked. This calm energy has a way of rekindling desire as it speaks to an inner strength that many find irresistible. Developing this composure requires practice and self-awareness. You have to learn to recognize when emotions start to rise and consciously choose not to react. This doesn't mean repressing your feelings. It means observing them without letting them dictate your actions. It's about training yourself to pause, to consider, and to respond with intention. Over time, this becomes second nature, and you'll find that maintaining calmness becomes your default approach in challenging situations. When you remain composed in the face of conflict, you establish yourself as a man of depth and strength. People will notice that you don't allow external events to control you, which in turn makes you appear even more confident and attractive. This calm demeanor doesn't just preserve your peace of mind, it enhances your presence and solidifies the respect of those around you. In the end, maintaining calm and control is about living in alignment with your own values and principles. By embodying this approach, you naturally project confidence and resilience, showing that your worth is not dependent on others' reactions. You create an atmosphere of respect and admiration simply by remaining true to yourself unaffected by temporary external turmoil. So, in those moments when it would be easy to react, choose calm instead. By maintaining control over yourself, you set the tone for others to treat you with respect. This poise is not just a reflection of strength, it is the strength itself, a trait that will elevate you in every area of life. Respect and desire aren't earned through quick fixes, flashy gestures or endless apologies. They're cultivated by the way you carry yourself, by embodying confidence, maintaining boundaries and practicing self-mastery. By adopting these principles, you don't just improve one relationship, you elevate every part of your life. Today we've explored the Stoic approach to becoming a high-value man, Someone who is grounded, resilient, and naturally commands respect. As you apply these strategies, remember that this is about more than just reigniting desire. It's about creating lasting change in how you show up for yourself and those around you. Respect begins within, and when you truly own your strength, others will be drawn to it. So, take these insights to heart and commit to the journey. It's not always easy, but by choosing this path, you transform into the man you were meant to be. Calm, strong, and truly confident. The kind of man who doesn't just seek respect, he lives it. Thank you for watching, and remember, the power to change your life lies within you.